There's quite a bit of talk out there in the marketplace when it comes to jobs and employers trying to figure out what's going on with this great resignation. One of the big things that we're seeing on the recruiting side is the fact that counter offers are at an all time high. We have candidates that we're placing in positions that are not only juggling multiple offers from other companies, but also they're juggling a potential counter offer from their current employer. And one of the things that I hear from employers all the time is, you know, what can I possibly do to try to stem the tide of people leaving to be able to keep them on board uh, and keep them engaged as the year unfolds? Well, the best time, in my opinion, to extend and offer up a counter offer is to do it before you have to. Right? Rather than making it an offer that's uh, trying to keep somebody in place after they've given notice, it's more important and much more effective if you decide to go ahead and do a bit of a compensation audit among all of your employees. I know it's a, a rather big task for some large companies, but a lot of companies haven't done this for quite some time. And the sooner that you can look at your positions currently, compare them to current real-time market intelligence, market data, the better off you're going to be when you go ahead and give people a raise before they expect it, uh, rather than waiting for them to give notice and quit, and then you're trying to backpedal and trying to keep them. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're out there working with your positions and your HR teams and obviously your leadership as well, uh, to find time, find the energy, and find the resources to be able to do an audit of your compensation levels and increase folks wherever you possibly can to guard against losing them down the road. Hope this helps. Take care.